What's up guys, it's Ashiko aka Ashi and I got some Operation Metro on BF3 here today. It's on Conquest. I'm with a nine man team. Thank you so much. The love all you guys have given me. Um, and uh, getting to play with you guys is awesome. Definitely having nine people stacked on one team. That's two squads. I think we got one game in where it was uh, ten. But this was one of the games that was really good. It was kind of rape and I had the most people on the same team so I decided to choose this one it just so happened it was Operation Metro and it just so happened I was using the USAS with an 8x scope now I hope you guys don't really hate on the, the USAS with the 8x scope but there is use for it okay you're gonna see later that I'm sniping fools with that 8x you're gonna love it but uh, this is this is all just fun and games guys I mean the enemy team obviously didn't like it and they obviously you know it added insult to injury I feel like that, but you know, it's a game. It's a game, and if anything, they're gonna fix this, right? They're gonna take the eight time scope off the USAS. They're only, you know, they're they're gonna tone down the damage the USAS frags does, don't? Aren't they? Aren't, oh, the, the, what? They're only they're only taking the rate of fire off. That's just gonna make my sniper more accurate. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, um, today we're going to talk about two topics. Now, uh, they're kind of real life topics and they, have, they don't have much to do with the game, but a lot of people have asked me uh, for real life stories um, all the time. I always get those messages and I also get tons of people saying, oh, commentate on this or blah blah blah. Today we're going to talk uh, a little about the, the, the seven kids that jumped that one Asian kid. Now it was, it was it was six six Asians, one Asian girl that was videotaping it, and one white kid that was dumb enough not to wear a fucking mask. And he basically fucked all of them. Uh, so if you guys don't know this video or whatever, or what I'm talking about, it was a huge. It went fucking viral within an hour. Um, the outcry, uh, people like. We found their names with by 12 o'clock. We had names, phone numbers. Uh, there was letters sent to the school that they're getting in the morning. These kids were picked up the next day after this video went out on the internet, and um, they have all been arrested, including the 15-year-old little girl that fucking videotaped it, dumb bitch, uploaded it to YouTube. She even tried later to uh, kind of like take back what she did on her YouTube channel, uh, saying, "Oh." You know, he got jumped for a reason, blah blah blah. Apparently she lured the the little immigrant into that into that fucking alleyway. I mean, people like that a lot of people are over exaggerating, they're like, hang him! Fuck I put him up against the wall, I put a bullet in their head. And it's just like, what? <laughs> they're they're still children. I mean they're still children, but this is something that I think is a huge fucking problem, and especially in North America, probably in the UK too, in Europe. But we have to make an example of these kids, because this happens way too often, and it happens like, and it gets worse and worse every time I see a video. Every time I see a video like this, it gets worse and worse and worse, and it brings me back to a story that I had. Um, 
this happened when I, I think I was 18 or 19 and for your information guys I'm, I'm 22 now or maybe 20 23 in June uh, so this was a long long time ago and it was a shitty 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 time in my life but uh, basically I, I had seven kids jump me I think it was seven uh, there was an eighth one with a baseball bat um, and this was all over in my neighborhood I mean this neighborhood that I live in it's a great fucking neighborhood but there's just these rotten apple families that live in here you know you know the ki kind of parents that let their kids run around with like shitty diapers and no shirt on they're like yeah go fucking play I'm gonna smoke my cigarette in the bathtub or something while while their kids are outside tormenting the entire neighborhood it's it's those people that uh, uh, like cause trouble in my neighborhood so We've, I've grown up in this neighborhood basically and there's always been this pack of kids that are just like these dirty white kids that think they're gangsters and everything like that and they think this is Compton and like South Central LA even though we live in Canada and we live in the capital and it's not even Toronto and it's like these kids it's uh it's it's too much and i've never 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 been there any of their friends um but there's this one kid i'm not going to mention his name because i don't want anyone to hunt him down or anything like that but uh he's been involved in the law all these kids have been involved in the law they they basically it's this gang of kids that are the only people that i would say traffic drugs throughout the neighborhood they have a gang and stuff like that and everyone knows who they are um and they constantly get in trouble for it too but uh, there was one incident that there was a bunch of kids in the parking lot across my street and they're picking on these two little girls and now these are little little kids uh, I'd say about 10 or 11 and uh, I was 18 at the time and I, get, I went out and I'm like what, why are you talking like that and he was calling this girl you know sorry for saying it but bitch and slut and like you're a skank blah 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 and they're just picking on this girl and this girl is fucking crying and they're, they're her age and everything like that. I'm just picking on her and being a bully. So I went out there. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here. Stop talking to her like that. You know, you don't talk to girls like that. So the kid's like, you got it fucked up. Just like those kids said. And I'm like, what? You got it fucked up. And he ran away. And all the other kids are there still picking on the little girl. And I'm like, little girl, you know, li li go away, blah, blah, blah. And uh, her older sister came out. I knew her older sister and everything like that. And... Uh, all of a sudden, within, I swear to God, within five minutes, I had two cars, uh, four, two four-door cars uh, park up. One came in the parking lot and about maybe ten plus kids uh, who were all these bad apple kids that were part of this gang came out of the cars. And I'm just, I'm in the middle of the fucking parking lot going, yep, this is about to happen. So I'm like, shit, you know, they're all getting in my face. What you talking about? my cousin fall what are you talking about my and I'm like oh my god get out of my face I'm right in front of my house so um, we go back I, I, I get back to my house and I you know I they're surrounded my house there's about 30 fucking people out there you had even parents out there shame on fucking them out there just in, encouraging them I guess basically the kid lied his ass off apparently I found out later he lied his ass off said I hit him which I would never do. I would never hit a little child, <laughs> especially in that situation. It just makes no sense. So he lied off his ass. Now they're all mad for that reason. And you know, probably I would be mad if I heard someone hit a little kid, but they obviously don't know what they're talking about. And the kid lied and you know, it, it is what it is. So that situation completely diffused. I didn't call the cops on any of them. I was just like, go the fuck away on my porch. And I went inside and locked my door. And that was the end of it. I mean, if you just ignore them, they'll go away, right? There was 30 of them that fucking left. Uh, it was nighttime too. Uh, but no cops came either. No one called the cops. No one, no one's like, hey, why are you surrounding this guy's house or anything and screaming at him? But I, it was about, I, I don't know, for like three or four weeks later but during those three or four weeks you had these little kids the same little kids that said that you got a fucked up kid they, they they're always around the neighborhood and they were tormenting my mom tormenting they'd come to the door and knock when I wasn't there where's your son blah 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 knocking on my door uh, causing shit outside in the neighborhood and there was one day where I was going to go to my friend Long's and uh, he lives about 10 blocks so I was taking the bus and I went out the door, locked my door, went down the stairs, and these group of kids came up, and they're like, you walk down this street, 
and we're gonna fucking jump you. And I'm like, <laughs> I was just laughing in their face. I was just like, what are, you, what are you talking about? They're like 10 years old. I'm like, what, are you gonna get all your little friends again? Like all, all those big kids again? And they're like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna jump you. And I'm just like, cause there was one big guy with them. And I'm just like, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down this world and you're gonna do nothing. And that's, that's a rule, guys. Never, ever, ever be like, oh, okay, and, like, walk the wrong way or, like, walk away from it and be like, or, or go hide. You know, stand up to these people. They don't deserve you to, like, just crumble and be, like, a weak little thing. But these kids went away, and I walked a way that I would have never walked to my friend's house. I walked straight down my street right across uh, the bus stop that I usually stop and went to the next bus stop and um, I was fine I was sitting at the bus stop next thing I knew the community center down the street all of a sudden I see a pack of kids come out of it with a fucking baseball bat and I'm just like alright it's about to go down this time I'm nowhere near my house I'm on one of the main streets of audio line, so I'm like someone's gonna someone's gonna stick up or it's like stand up for me like something's gonna happen but uh I had this uh, mountain keychain that I always had. It's like a, a mountain hook, whatever, and it's big enough to fit around my my uh, my fist. So I put that on, and I always always do this. this is like my secret weapon. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm, don't go to school and start hitting people with your mountain climbing keychains and stuff like that. Don't don't do that. But um, put that on, and I put it back in my pocket. And uh, the first kid came up, got up into my face, and I knew that it was the kid I was talking about before. Um, and they're all older. Uh, they're around the same age as me at that time. And they get up in my face, and uh, they start talking shit. You know, why are you picking on my cousin? Stuff like shit like that. And uh, the first one takes a swing at me, hits me in the lower chin. I knock him in the face with the key, uh, the, the, the mountain climbing uh, keychain. And um, it turns out I broke his nose and gave him a scar across uh, the 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 left side of his nose. I think he yeah, had left side of his nose for the rest of his life. He has a big scar. I split his face open right then and there. And uh, the second kid, I grabbed him, threw him into the bus stop, and then after that, it was like five more of them. They just jumped all on me. It, this ain't Jackie Chan here, okay? I'm not Jackie Chan. You know, this ain't the movies. They don't come one at a time. You know, they're obviously going to come all five at once. So, <laughs> all five at once, I got hit over the head with a baseball bat. I was on the floor, but I never went down. Never went down. I got to keep keep that in mind. I never went down. Eventually, people are just... I, I was looking, like, constantly, like, out, like, over across the street, and people are just watching. These people are just watching. And I, I get up, and they all run away. And no cops are coming. And all of a sudden, cops are everywhere. Uh, after they left and uh, I'm just walking away just completely bloody I walked home and the first thing I did is I ripped open my drawer grabbed the biggest fucking knife I could and uh, my mom's there and she's like don't do it and I'm like yep I'm not gonna do it and I put the knife down you know can't solve violence with more violence um, I snitched all of them out you know though that's not snitching thing don't listen to that if people are willing to jump you like that and cause trouble in a good neighborhood get rid of them they will go to jail which most of them are right now I had a uh, one of the kids come up to me a year or so after that and he asked me to actually uh, talk to the judge for him and I'm um, like oh yeah sure I'll talk to the judge for you what's uh, what's your email I, I sent the judge an email I'm like why is he asking me to you know give a good word for him stuff like that and he's in jail now he's on parole I think now he has a kid you know he's, he's one of those trashy people out there but I just want to put a good story out there for you kind of relates to what's going on right now and I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and uh, I'll see you guys later peace